Another issue is the issue of rich man. Amen. The rich man that came to Jesus and said, Oh, Rabbi, preacher of the gospel, great prophet, the son of the living God, blessed be you. I come here to tell you that I am a keeper of the law. What shall I do to make heaven? And Jesus looked at the man and he said, Oh, have you kept the commandments that Moses has given? He said, yes, I've kept all the commandments, the ten commandments. Look at it here. I keep all of them. See them. I write them in my heart. I can read them anytime. I have money to buy it, to read it, and also know how to keep them. I keep them from my childhood. And Jesus was so happy. And he said, okay, one thing remains. Rich man, he said, yes, sir. One thing remains for you. He said, what is it, Lord? Tell me if there's any other commandment I am going to obey so that the world will know that I am a holy person, that I am a righteous person. And Jesus said, okay, one righteousness remaining. Go and sell all that you have and give it to the poor and come and follow me. Hey! The man was completely wounded. The man was completely disappointed because he thought that Jesus would say, oh, for you to keep all the commandments, you have made heaven already. Oh yeah, take ticket. Oh yeah, they go heaven straight. They go there, go stay there, wait for us. We are coming, wait there. But Jesus never said so. God is not a God that is demanding your self-righteousness. God is not a God that is demanding your self Self, self, self acclaimed righteousness. God is a God that demands the righteousness of God in your heart. He wants to see the righteousness of God in your heart. Your physical righteousness, that one is for you. To better you and to help you. That one is to help you. To, oh, oh, you have keep yourself sanctified you are keep yourself holy but the one god is demanding from you is the righteousness of heart not the one somebody say i am serving god but he is a witchcraft in the heart against his brothers against his fellow somebody can come to church and you say oh this is a great man of god great believer great born again but his heart or her heart it's not good where a fellow man is. When he sees something good coming to you, maybe God blessed you and you buy a new slippers. He's not happy. God blesses you and promotes you in the place of work. He's not happy. He sees that you give a testimony. Oh, I thank God. God has blessed me. I have a bicycle. He's not happy. He's looking at you physically. Oh, holy wage. Righteous than holier. Holier than thou. But in his heart, he's full of evil. The problem people are having in this world today is because a lot of people have depended so much on their self-righteousness and they have departed from the righteousness of God, the true righteousness of the heart. They have departed from it. The rich man said, I have kept all the commandments. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God, and thou shalt have no other God, and you shall not take your husband, you shall not take this, you shall not do this, you shall not do that. Ten commandments, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Finish them. Ba, boom, boom. Ba, 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 ba. I have finished it. But hungry people are there, and they know what to do for them, so that their food will come, but they will not. God will not come and write it in the Bible when you are passing on the road. Somebody is hungry. His name must be a maker. Help a maker. No. God wants to see the new commandment that he has placed in your heart. The commandment of love. The true God is the God who challenged you to live a perfect life. And the Bible says, thou shalt be perfect for your God is what? Perfect. Somebody say, am I not a human being? Am I not a human being? And so what? Amen. You are a human being and so what? A human being cannot be God. Now you say so. I want to let you know that Jesus was also a human being. 
<laughs> Amen. Look. Look chapter 18 from verse 18. He said, And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? And none is good, save one that is God. Thou shalt know the commandments do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother, and all of that. And he said, All this have I kept from my youth up till now. Praise God. Praise God. Verse 22. Now, when Jesus heard these things, he said unto him, Yet lackest thou one thing. Sell all that thou hast, and distribute it unto the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. Come and follow me. 23. And when he heard this, he was very, very sorrowful, for he was very rich. 24. And when Jesus saw that he was very sorrowful, he said, how hardly shall that be they that have riches to enter into the kingdom of God. Oh my God. Verse 25. For it is easier for a camel to go through the needle star than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, he stepped further in verse 26 and 27 because a lot of people say, Ah, rich man, I know we'll go to church. They say, Rich man, no, they go to heaven. It's a lie. Let me read 26 and verse 27 for you. 26 said, And they that had this, had it said, well, Who then can be saved? Sorry, 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 sorry. And they had that had and they that had it said who then can be saved that is people that heard Jesus say this now ask the question who then can be saved 27 and Jesus answered them the things which are impossible with men are possible with God <laughs> amen Amen. Amen. No. The people that heard Jesus say that it will be difficult, it's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into heaven. Then I ask question if this is happening, who now will be saved? Even the disciples that were following Jesus, all of them were pricked because they thought. That is just, hey, come, jump into heaven. They never knew that there may be challenges that need them to stand firm and serve their God with the truth and the spirit. Now, Peter now asks a question. You will see, the Peter own is the most devastating. Because Peter also, that's supposed to have been a preacher, that's supposed to be a senior apostle, that's supposed to be the one that have been living with Jesus, that's supposed to have confidence, just like you and I. Peter also was afraid. And Peter said this. Look at this. This, this, uh, this. Verse 28. Then Peter said, Lo, we have left all and followed you. And he said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you. But before the answer, let me tell you what it means. What Peter was saying there. Immediately Peter heard that Jesus said, that it will be very difficult for a rich man to enter heaven. Peter was disappointed because he said he has abandoned everything to follow Jesus. So which means he is not going to become rich. Which means he cannot benefit anything. He thought that following Jesus is only to make money. He thought that serving the true God is only for somebody to come and God now bless your business. Now your business begins to flourish. You are making money every day. You have 10 million naira in your account. That is what Peter thought. That is why Peter now cried foul and said, Oh, no, oh my God, 
After we have abandoned everything, thinking that following you, we are going to have bigger one. We never knew that to make it with you cannot work. Because many things must have gone in his mind. If a rich man cannot enter heaven, means that they are going to remain poor all the days of their life. That's what Peter began to think about. Serving the true God, many people think it's only to come and be rich and be, oh God bless me, bless me, it's only money. No. God blesses you, spiritual blessings and also physical blessings. There's no blessing can be compared to what's called the spiritual blessings that God gives to his children. The spiritual blessing that God is going to bless you with is the ultimate, is the highest, is the biggest, is the best. So your prayer as a child of God, oh Lord, bless me with the spiritual blessings. And then verse 29. And Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, There is no man that I left out or parents or brethren or wife or children for the kingdom of God's sake who shall not receive manifold more in this present time and in the world to come life everlasting amen amen hallelujah jesus made it clear that there's nothing you lose for the sake of the gospel that you will not have a million times a manifold in uncomparable he said in this life you will have it here <laughs> hallelujah Amen. He said, whatever you left, you will receive manifold more in this life, this present time. Not be only in the heaven. In this world, you will be blessed. You will have them. And in heaven, you will have them. So, it's all about what you think. So, we need to appreciate that we are the most privileged people to have the true God and to serve the true God. Time will not permit me, I have other part of it, to serve the true God and also what the true God will do for us. Serving the true God also will make that true God also to surprise you. Amen. He will surprise us. He will prove us that he is God. He will show us that he is our father that loved us. And also, the true God will amaze you. He will do things in a way that you yourself will be so shocked. You'll be asking yourself questions. You'll say, ah, I never known I saw God be. And then you say, I know no say na so you be. Oh. I say, I know no say na so you be. Jesus not the fellow. I know no say na so you be. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know no say na so you be. I know no say na so you be. Jesus no the fellow. I know no say na so you be. Jesus no the fellow. I know no say na so you be. Jesus no the fellow. I know no say na so you be. Jehovah no the fellow. I know no say na so you be. Jesus no the fellow. I know no say na so you be. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know no say na so you be. I say I know no say na so you be. Jesus no the fellow. I know no say na so you be. Jehovah no the fellow. I know no say na so you be. Jehovah no the fellow. I know no say na so you be. My God no the fellow. I know no say na so you be. Jehovah no the fellow. I know no say na so you be.